Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Recently, we carried out a full deep dive into both iOS and iPadOS 15, which went into a lot of detail. However, we deliberately left out the main updates for two applications, namely Reminders and Notes, because we wanted to give them their own standalone tip show. Both apps have received a lot of love and their use is expanding and these updates certainly will help them grow more. So let's check them out. OK, we'll cover Reminders first of all, and there are several feature improvements to this app. Now, this main view is very similar and the functionality is very much the same as before. So our first update will center on how Reminders will be organized. Now, historically, everything has been done via lists. So we have four lists over here. And to move a reminder to a new list, we would simply tap on it, then the information button, scroll down to list, tap the list that you'd like to move it to, and then tap done. The latest version of reminders though, now lets you use tags, which is one of the reasons some people have tended to stay away from it because being able to assign tags to your tasks and give you the ability to slice and dice up your lists is really important for your productivity. So I'll tap on a reminder here and here is a tag field. So I'll tap and now I can enter in a tag to help organize these tasks. So this one I will categorize as a chore. Now I'll give it a tag of weekly just in case I want the ability to list tasks that are carried out weekly for any reason. And I'll also give it a tag of home because I can't do this anywhere other than home. Then I'll tap done. And if I want to edit those tags, I can just tap on it again. It's important to note that anything highlighted in blue here is selected. Um, I could tap to deselect, but I'll tap done again. And here. And now we can see that in the sidebar, we have a tab browser. So I can pick any of these tags and I'll be shown only the tasks that have that particular tag assigned, which is pretty good. Okay, now I've just paused there and added some tags to all of the tasks in this reminders list. And we've got quite a range here. So now I'll tap home to show me the tasks that I can do at home. Then if I tap another tag, it will show me here only tasks that have both of these tags and there are none. So I do have to deselect this first tag every time I want to switch between tag views. It would be quite handy if I could just double tap on the tag and it would automatically deselect that first one. But maybe that's something that could come in the future. And here I've got three tasks that I can do whilst I'm online. Now this is great because it allows me to batch up my tasks more whilst I'm in the context of being online. And that will help me be more productive. Now I'll tap recording and then deselect online. And there are my recording tasks. So that's tags, which is a really great new feature. Reminders also now accepts natural language as well when you're entering the name of a reminder. So if I tap to type one in, and then I'll type review inbox every day at 2 p.m. Now down here, we can see this suggesting that date and time. And if I tap that, in the reminder info, we can see that it's now going to occur daily at 2 p.m. And if I tap on the info button, I can see that as well here in the task info. OK, now let's give it a tag. I'll uncheck recording here and I'm going to select online. And office. Then done. And done again. The reminder now moves from this recording tag view because we took that tag away. And if I go to the office one instead, uncheck recording, there is our new reminder at the bottom. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.